Hi everyone, Nolan here from eLearning Portal. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a calculated question within Moodle. So let me show you. In our question bank, in our question bank, we click on create a new question. Now we select calculated question. Click on add. The same as before, we need to provide a question name. So let's type in here, calculate the distance. Okay, so let's copy this here and paste it here. Okay, so for this we'll use uh, something called wildcards and this will allow us to create multiple versions of one question. So for this, uh, the learners need to create or the learners need to pro calculate the distance. Calculate the distance. So we'll use wildcards A and B. So I'll ask them that uh, Jane is traveling at a certain amount of uh, kilometers per hour. So I'll use a wildcard here. I'll use A as my wildcard. So Jane is traveling at, let's say, 40 kilometers per hour. So this will be kilometers, this will be kilometers per hour. So Jane travel, Jane is traveling 40 kilometers per hour. Okay. For, let's say, for four hours. Okay. And this will be B. And it will type in here hours. Okay. So she's traveling at this amount of uh, kilometers per hour for how many hours? Now I need them to calculate. Jane traveled. Okay. So this is my question. Let's scroll down. I leave it on one mark. I can provide uh, default feedback or general feedback. So for my answer, I know to determine the, to calculate the distance, I need to multiply um, the speed and the time. Okay, so let's do that. So open my curly braces. This is A times B. And this is my formula model will use to calculate this answer. Okay, so this will be 100%. I'll leave the tolerance as is. I'll leave the uh, decimal places to two. I can provide feedback, but not at this stage. I'll leave my unit handling uh, in my units. I leave it as is and I click, I click on save and continue. Um, now you'll see that no shared wildcards in this category. Okay, so let's create that wildcards. Let's click on save changes. So now it asks me to create the wildcards. Uh, if I already have wildcards, uh, I can use the default ones. But since I don't have any, I'll use a new uh, shared data set for both of these wildcards. Okay, so select um, or use new shared data set for both these wildcards then leave it on do not use or do not synchronize click on next page now you'll see there's my two wildcards i haven't done anything yet so you'll see there's no questions created yet with uh, in this wildcard by using this wildcard okay so the, it says here my minimum value is uh, this is the ranges okay my minimum value is 1.0 let's make it 1 and this is 10 okay for my a wildcard it starts from 1 and it ends t at 10 okay I leave that I can use the decimal places to decimal places since this is kilometers per hour okay my wildcard B will start at 1 also and it will end at 10 and here I'll I won't be using decimal places because I want the hours to be all numbers okay so there's my two wildcards so now this is my first one and I click on add item Okay, so there's my first set is created and you'll see here set one there's my first set for 
uh, my wildcard A, my wildcard B is 1. So there's my first one. Okay. Then I could, the second set will be 2.40 times 5. Okay. So let's click on Add. And it will indicate that you created the second set. Okay. So I'll have, I have my count now is I have two wildcards created for A, two for B. Let's create another one. Click on Add. Okay, so there's three, three. Let's choose another one. Add. Okay, so there's my third one or my fourth set. Let's create another one. Let's click on Add. And now I have five sets. Okay, so let's do that. Let's save this. Okay, so there's my first question created. I click on Edit and I click on Preview. Now you'll see uh, Calculate the Distance. Jane, Jane is traveling at Jane, Jane is traveling at 4.13 kilometers per hour for one hour. Calculate the distance. They need to provide an answer. But if I click on Refresh, it will populate a new problem. And it will use that specific wildcards I've created. So there's 5.82 uh, for four hours. Okay, so let's go back to our editing, our question. So now you'll see that we've created five items within our wildcard. So that's five examples. But if we go back by clicking on Save Changes, make sure we'll use the same existing shared uh, data set. We can either choose a synchronize or do not synchronize. Let's click on next. Okay, so here I have my five items that I've created previously. Now, if I scroll down, I can also select add item and select here add 10 items to my wildcard. Remember, we had five before. So now when I create, when I add 10 and click on add, our total will be 15. So we have 15 items within our wild card. Now we can scroll down, click on save. And now when we look at our question uh, again, we can have 15 new problems being generated for this question. Okay, so 15 learners will have a different question uh, based on the same concept. Now, Currently, we have 15 items in our wild cards. Okay. We can also delete some of these items. If we scroll down, you'll see delete and we can select how many items we've set. Let's click on 10 and then click on delete. And now it will delete 10 items. Okay. So we end up now with five items. If we scroll down, we can again select how many items we want to add. We can select 20 and click on add and that will add 20 new sets to our wild cards and we'll end up with 25. And this is how easy it is to create a calculated question within Moodle.